Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today we'll talk about what activities are safe after you've been fully vaccinated with the Moderna or Pfizer vaccines. As more and more people are finally getting their second shot of either the Moderna or Pfizer vaccines and are becoming fully vaccinated, I've been getting more and more questions about what activities are safe to finally do. At the end of the day, I truly believe that allowing people to do activities they have not been able to do for almost a year is a great incentive to get the vaccine. And I hope that people that are on the fence about getting the vaccine are encouraged to go ahead and do so after my discussion today. Remember the important data point about vaccines is something called herd immunity, which is when a significant portion of a population becomes immune to an infectious disease. Herd immunity therefore limits the spread of disease. At our current rate of vaccination, the CDC estimates that it will be the very end of October 2021 before 70% of the U.S. population is vaccinated against COVID-19, which may be the lower threshold for herd immunity through vaccinations. And of course, further herd immunity will be obtained as people recover from COVID-19 as well. The New York Times has a great article that shows how your particular state is doing compared to other states in terms of the percentage vaccinated and who's currently eligible to receive a vaccine. I'll put a link to the article in the description. Here are the questions I most commonly receive. Question number one, after you've been fully vaccinated, do you still need to wear a mask? Yes, unless you're with a small group that's all been fully vaccinated and you're gathering at someone's home. Question number two, do you still need to socially distance yourself six feet from others? Yes, unless you're with a small group that's all been fully vaccinated and you're gathering at someone's home. Question number three, can you travel? Yes, but realize that you will still need to wear a mask on the airplane and I would limit the travel within your particular country until we get more data on the variants and whether the current vaccines protect against them as well. Furthermore, different countries have different rules about vaccinations and may be using less effective vaccines in general. Of note, the CDC still urges essential travel only. Question number four, can you go to the grocery store? Yes, but realize that you still need to wear a mask. Question number five, can you go to a hair salon? Yes, but realize that you will still need to wear a mask while in the salon. Question number six, can you go to the dentist or see your doctor in person? Yes, please do not put off routine medical care during this time. Even if you have not been fully vaccinated or vaccinated at all, there are procedures in place to protect you, your dentist and your doctor and their staff. So do not wait to do those things that need to be done like teeth cleanings, mammograms, blood pressure checks, colonoscopies, pap smears and bone density screenings. Question number seven, what if you've been fully vaccinated and have been exposed to someone with COVID? The CDC did recently ease these rules. No quarantine is needed as long as the vaccinated person shows no symptoms and it's been at least two weeks, but not longer than three months since their second dose. As we continue to get more data, these recommendations will likely change and hopefully continue to allow more and more activities with less and less restrictions. But until that time, continue to wear your mask, wash your hands, and stay six feet apart from others that are not living in your home. Thanks for joining me.